like most TikTok experiences, we are going to try the wine that has been aerated and I'm going to pour into uh, ideally four identical glasses and see if I can taste a difference with my wife. And then we're gonna pick two and aerate them. Secretly, I'm gonna pick probably that one and that one. So here we go. I want it to get all frothy. Maybe go to speed two. Is there, a, oh, there's a third speed. That's what I want right there. Look at that, okay, going to the next one. Frothy. Which one is which? I do know which one is which. You probably can tell if you looked at them, so don't look at them too closely. Stop it! Why? I Stop should, looking at them. I should be able to examine the wine then. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh no, it might not work. So this is the first one. Okay, so I'll try that one also. Hmm. So they had to sit open for like 20, 30 minutes for sure. So that'll give it a good time to open even if it wasn't the one that was aerated. I'm gonna try the other one now. Um, hmm. Are you sure you know which ones are which? I do. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the second one was the one that was aerated. Yep. What makes you think that? Um, this first one still has a really heavy tannic bite to it. Interesting. The second one has that same fruit flavor, but it doesn't have that acidic bite okay. on my tongue. <clears throat> doesn't make my salivary glands shrivel up. <clears throat> I think the fruit flavor is slightly different also, but that's just me. We react differently with wines. Mm -hmm. Blind tasting, you did it. But did you do it because you saw some little bubbles in it? Mm-mm. I did it strictly off of flavor. I can't see any bubbles in mine. I can, right there. Well, I swirled it. I know. The other one doesn't have any bubbles at all. Though this one has like little bubbles floating in it. Yeah, but you can get little bubbles like that just by swirling it. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, these are probably poured a little too heavy to be able to swirl. But, like, look, I have little bubbles in this one now. You do. And, all I do and that one says 20 in the glass. <laughs> That's the only way I knew is the ones that are the 20 ones are not. The ones that are the blank were aerated. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You want to try it, Montgomery? Yeah, no. Okay. What were you going to say? You have to ask the question. Uh, you said something about the second one tasting more muted. And I said, was that better? No. Yeah, you asked, which one do you think tastes better? And I think that the second one, the one that was aerated, has a lot more muted flavors. It's like on its decline. 
<clears throat> so it's almost like it was aerated or has sat out for too much. It's starting to lose some of those fruit flavors. It's definitely losing its tannin. It's becoming just like plain. Whereas the first one, the one that was not aerated, still has all of that stuff and probably will for the next, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes sitting in the glass. Yeah. I mean, at this point in time, it's been in the glass for like almost an hour, maybe? 45 minutes? You said half an hour. Okay. Half an hour before. I don't know. What time did we get home? Doesn't matter. The judgment is that we should just decant the wine for a half an hour? Yeah. Don't aerate it. Okay. We'll try it again with somebody else.